There are lots of ways to win in MMA, but not all wins are deserved. But everybody in this room and everybody on this planet knows that was bullshit. This is a list of fights where a fighter didn't exactly earn their victory, either due to injury, bad decision, or referee error, making them some of the most undeserved wins in MMA. Just six years ago, Russian fighter Fedor Emelianenko was considered the best fighter in the world. Pound for pound, the best guy in the world in mixed martial arts is Fedor Emelianenko. There was nobody else in any weight class could do what he does. Fedor had 31 wins at the time and only a single loss to Japanese fighter Tsuyoshi Kosaka. The fight took place in Osaka, Japan in 2000 and only lasted 17 seconds. <laughs> Kosaka threw a punch but missed, accidentally hitting Fedor with his elbow. The stray elbow opened a cut above Emelianenko's eye, prompting the ringside doctor to take a look at it. The cut was deemed too deep to allow Fedor to continue fighting, and Tsuyoshi Kasaka was declared the winner by TKO. The controversy with this loss lies within the rule set. Elbow strikes were illegal during this competition, and Kosaka clearly hit Emelianenko with an elbow, opening the fight-ending cut above Fedor's eye. The loss still remains on Fedor's official record, but the two fighters rematched five years later at Pride, Bushido 6. Fedor won via TKO at the end of the first round. And it's over. And the bell goes. The fight has been stopped. As Kosaka unable to answer the bell round two. When you think of John Jones losing, you usually think of court cases, but he's lost in his MMA career as well. John Jones currently has 22 wins and only one loss. The loss came from a fight in 2012 against Matt the Hammer Hamill. Jones dominated the fight, taking Hamill down and landing damaging elbows. Jones is trying to finish this fight, Mike. Many thought the fight was going to be stopped and Jones declared the winner via TKO. But unfortunately, Steve Mazzagatti was the ref that night. Mazzagatti halted the fight after two of Jones's elbow strikes were deemed illegal. He's doing a good job. Big elbows. No, he can't do 12 to 6. Because Jones's elbows were thrown at a 90 degree angle and not an 89 degree angle, the elbows were considered illegal. The up to down elbow from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is illegal. Mazzagatti verbally asked Hamill, who is deaf, if he wanted to continue fighting. When Hamill didn't respond, the fight was stopped and Jones was disqualified due to illegal elbows. Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Therefore, the winner is Matt Hamill. Wow, unbelievable. To this day, the only person to hold a win over John Jones is Matt Hamill and the district attorney. In 2015, Leandro Silva fought Drew Dober in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Silva who is from Brazil, was declared the winner via tap out in the second round. Excellent escape there from Dover, who's in the guillotine and encounters to the proper side. The only problem? His opponent never tapped out. What? Oh my God. That referee just messed up this fight. Referee Eduardo Hurdy mistakenly stopped the fight in favor of the hometown fighter. There was no tap. Dover was defending fine. Um, that, that anybody would think that that was a tap is insane. That, that thing should be overturned and it should be a no contest. The Brazilian commission said it wouldn't be overturning the result and Silva's win would remain. But after receiving an appeal from Dober and his team, as well as a groundswell of support from angry people on the internet, the fight result was officially overturned to a no contest. A similar situation happened at UFC 115 when Mac Danzig fought Matt Wyman. The referee thought Danzig was choked unconscious, when in fact, he wasn't. It is all over! No. Tremendous, tremendous mistake. The Canadian Commission never overturned the fight result. Middleweight fighter Michael Bisping is the king of disappointing endings. Bisping has at least four wins on his record, many argue shouldn't be there. In one of the most egregious judges' decisions in MMA, Michael Bisping was awarded the win against Matt Hamill in 2007. Hamill dominated most of the fight, but with a combination of Bisping being in his hometown and Cecil Peoples being a judge that night, Bisping was given the decision. Michael Bisping! 
Bisping recently won another controversial decision against Anderson Silva. Michael Bisping! Bisping also poked Alan Belcher in the eye during their fight and was given the win after Belcher couldn't continue. Michael the Count Bisping! And before that, he purposely threw an illegal knee at his opponent Jorge Rivera. Absolutely 100% illegal. The illegal strike gave Bisping enough of an advantage to finish the fight in the third round. Bisping defeats Jorge Rivera! And a few honorable mentions. Eric Perez won via submission even though his opponent, John Albert, never tapped out. What? The referee has stopped it. Albert did not tap. Steve Mazzagatti struck again at UFC Fight Night 14 when he declared Kevin Burns the winner via eye poke. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kevin the Fire Burns. Bobby Green showed off his groin kicking skills against James Krause at Ultimate Fight Night 31. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.